Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Neha here from Pearl Bats. I hope wherever you are, you all are safe and making sure that you are, are self-isolating and maintaining the social distancing. So today I have an interesting video for you wherein I do a DIY, I have a fun song and also we are going to be practicing the concept greater than and less than. So let's see what I have for you today. So for the DIY, what you need is just a little bit of sponge. This is something which came with my packaging, so I just saved the bit. You need a push pin. This is easily available at home, so you need a push pin and some scrap paper. So with the scrap paper, all you have to do is, if you don't have googly eyes at home, you can just use your marker to make the eye and just with some white paper, you're going to make the teeth. So this is basically our alligator and using this little piece here what you're going to do is basically have your push pin and stick it in this block so you have the alligator which can move either side to depict the greater than and less than so very simple diy that you can prepare in just a minute with things that you have lying around in your house if you don't have the sponge block you can even use the one that you use to wash the vessels just take the sponge pad uh, and you can use it so coming to the song it's a little fun song that you can prep up with the word alligator so just with your hands uh, you're going to teach the child that the alligator is really hungry and waiting for his feast and he opens his mouth wherever there are the largest number of numbers or the largest number of manipulatives that you have so all you have to do is sing it and i'm going to put the lyrics for the song down below in the description so do check them out so it goes like this alligator alligator ready for a feast how many numbers do you want and of eat? course he's going to be like um i'm going to open my mouth wide and open it for the maximum number of treats that i can get so here i have my manipulatives ready they are just a mix of whatever i had at home and let's see so what you can do is just you know put random amount of uh, things on one side and another random number of things on the other side and then you can make the child count so one two three four five six seven there are seven here and then the child can place a number associated with the quantity that the child has just counted same way out here one two three four five six seven eight and again the quantity goes here and chom 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 my alligator is coming and he is going to open his mouth wide wherever their maximum amount of manipulatives so alligator alligator are you ready for your feast which side are you gonna move he's gonna move this side so basically when you write it seven is less than number eight or you can flip it and you can write eight is greater than seven so basically my alligator mouth is open towards the biggest number so the side which is closed this side is less than and the mouth side which is open wide is my greater than right so this is one easy way of you know visually showing the children which number is greater than the other so let's see another so again you can ask the child to just close his or her eyes and just put random things on either side so the child is kind of forming the equations and this is a great way of you know turning a very uh you know mundane uh, mathematical problem into something which is interesting so again the child counts one two three four five six seven eight nine oh my god that's a lot of food alligator is gonna be happy number nine one two three four oh no just four okay mr alligator is coming let's see 
Alligator, alligator, are you ready for your feast? Hmm, only four over here. That's not going to satisfy me. Ooh, there are nine here and I'm going to eat all of these now. So when I form my equation, it's going to be nine is greater than because my alligator mouth is this side greater than number four. So number four is less than number nine. So when you do it this way, the child understands greater than and less than concept together. So it's very easy for them not to get confused because you're showing both the representations in one go. All right. Now let's do something different. Suppose the child chooses equal amount of food on both sides then what is going to happen we are going to confuse mr alligator so one two three four one two three four so four out here and four out here four and four Ooh, mr alligator is here for his feast huh four is here four is here oh no i'm confused what am i going to do and he's just going to wait here because ultimately it's going to be equal they are one and the same so he can't really choose which one to have because he wants to have the maximum number right so four equals four so mr alligator is just waiting so that he can get some more food so he's just waiting at the side so a fun diy based activity where the mouth of the alligator can simply just turn so if i add two more out here this becomes mm, four and two six so i have six so four is less than six and if i would have had it this way then this would have been six and all you have to do is just change the direction of the mouth and that's the beauty of uh, the upin so six is greater than four okay so that is your greater than and less than so hope you like this video do subscribe like and share and keep waiting for more fun videos on my channel take care bye bye stay safe